Our Introduction to Filmmaking course has just launched. And to celebrate, we're sharing the first four lessons completely free here on YouTube. So this section is one of seven sections on the course. It's titled Your First Time on a Virtual Film Set and it's for absolute beginners, your first time in Unreal Engine. We're gonna be releasing one video every day until the launch discount ends. But if you'd like to check them out ahead of time, all four videos are available for free on the course page right now. Once you've opened up Unreal and the shaders have compiled, you should see something like this. Now this is the scene that we're gonna be doing all our initial learning in Unreal. Working from a scene like this is gonna help us figure out the fundamentals. If you're a new Unreal user and you haven't checked out the pr free primer course, you can go check it out, but we're gonna go over some of the concepts we covered there here as well. So, this big open area here is the viewport and it's where we do most of our work in Unreal. It allows us to see the scene and modify the scene. So the first thing you should know about working with the viewport is how to move around and change your view. If you hold down right mouse button and then move your mouse around, you can look around from the spot that your viewport is in. While holding down right mouse button still, you can use the W, A, S and D keys to move around like in a video game. So this is the W, A, S, D. On top of that, you can also use Q and E to go down and up. Now you might notice that it's, it's going pretty quickly for you. To change the speed you're going, continue to hold down right mouse click and scroll down or up to change the speed down or up for the camera. So if I scroll all the way down, I, get, I can do, could do a nice slow movement and it really allows me to look at details in the scene. But if I scroll up, if I scroll up, I can zoom through the scene quite quickly. Okay, now that we know how to move around in the viewport, let's have a look at some of the elements in the scene. So here we have a camera pointed at our character who is sitting on our environment and he has a light behind him. So we're going to cover all of these elements individually as if we're in a related film department like you would on a traditional film set. So the first one we're going to cover is the camera department. So if I look at this camera, I can put my mouse over the top of it and left click to select it. And a few things happen. You'll notice down the bottom right here, I get a preview of what the camera sees. And then on the right over here, I get a details panel, which has all the details about the camera. Let's focus on this preview first. This preview allows me to see what the camera sees while moving other elements around in the scene or while I move the camera around. For example, if I was to click one of these arrows here, I could move the camera back and you can see how the preview changes. Now, if I click away, say I wanted to move this pillar right here, you'll see it in the preview down here. I want to move that, that pillow to be a little bit more over the left behind his arm to fill in this gap. So if I left click on the pillow here, it disappears. So if we click back on the camera here, there's a little pin down the bottom left of the preview. So if I hover over that, it says pin preview. I can click that. And now when I go to select my pillow, it maintains the preview down here. So I can move this to the position I'd like it to be in. and I can see what I'm doing through the camera lens the whole time. Now, if we go back to the camera, let's have a closer look at this details panel. So there is many, many settings in here. And for any object in Unreal, there's going to be a bunch of settings you really don't need to touch or even know about. So to start with, we're gonna keep it very simple. This first section under transform relates to where the camera is in space and which way it's pointing. And then these next three sections are all about the camera itself. So generally in any object in Unreal, it's these first few sections that you're most interested in. So 
we can ignore most of these for now. They change elements of the camera like the aspect ratio, they change the film back. We're not going to worry about these for now. But if we go down here to where it says current focal length, we can change this to something like 50 by just selecting and then typing in numbers. And you'll see that we get a longer lens on our camera, which in turn compresses everything in the image. So we're going for that little that DSLR look. Let's back up the camera a bit and say we like this frame in. The next thing you'll notice about the preview is it's very out of focus. And it was before, but it's even more noticeable now. So we can go over here to where it says focus settings. We can click that to expand it and we get a whole bunch of settings here. So at the moment, it's set to something crazy, 100,000 centimeters away, which is way off behind the wall. So you can get this number and you can change it. So if you hover over the number here, you get this little arrow. So you can then click and drag to the left or right to change the value there. So I'm gonna drag it all the way down to something. I reckon this is about four or five meters away. So let's say 500 centimeters. Okay, and now I've dragged it down to there and it's still out of focus. Now normally a camera operator or an assistant camera operator would use the scroll wheel to change the focus and they just look through the viewport and figure out what the right focus should be until it's sharp. So that's kind of sharp. However, there's a much better way of doing it inside Unreal. Let's first make it out of focus. So it's now at 600 and you can see it's quite out of focus. I'll click the eyedropper which is gonna let me sample the scene depth from the scene. And it's kind of like saying, hey, I want my focus to be on this actor right now. So how far away is that actor? So I'll click that, and then I'm just gonna click on his forehead here. And you'll see instantly it jumps to the right location, 212 centimeters away. That's one way of doing it. I prefer a, a more hands-on approach. So let's change this number back up to something so it's out of focus again. You can click this tick box right here, draw debug focus plane. And what this does is it draws a purple plane, flat plane, where the focus plane is. So right now it's through the wall, we can't see it. But if I scroll this back down, you'll see here this purple plane appears. So now I, c I know exactly where my focus is and I can see it across all objects. Just remember to turn that back off, otherwise you'll constantly have this purple plane in your scene. Now we don't need to worry about much else for now, we'll go into some more of these settings later, but that's just an introduction to cameras inside Unreal Engine. If you found that helpful, let us know in the comments below. If you'd like to check out the other three videos in this section, you can find them on unrealfilm.academy. Otherwise hit the subscribe button and be notified when they're uploaded here on YouTube.